As everyone in the jewelry industry knows, business isn't just about beautiful stones and jewelry. Let's check in with Victoria Gamelski as she tours this year's Equipment, Technology and Services Pavilion. We're here at ETS, which stands for Equipment, Technology and Supplies. Now don't underestimate this pavilion. It's not as glitzy or as glamorous as luxury. It's not as posh as Prestige Promenade, but this place is super important to the entire trade. Not only can you get packaging here, supplies, bench tools, you can find some of the industry's most cutting edge machinery. We're talking about machines that grow gold layer by layer, 3D printers, and this is the future of the business. Without the room here and the suppliers in this part of the JCK show, none of what you see upstairs or at the rest of the show would be possible. Let's take a look at some of the more interesting things you can find down here. I've got an eye for this stuff, so let's go. Everybody knows Stellar. There's not a single person in this whole business I think who's not heard of Stellar huge supplier based in Lafayette, Louisiana. They've got everything, bench supplies, equipment, findings, pretty much everything you need. I'm holding these pieces. They were made through a process generally known as additive manufacturing. Additive because it lays down layers of melted gold based on instructions sent to the machine in a CAD file. What you get is a piece with incredible three-dimensionality, designs that you really couldn't make the traditional way. This piece was made in about four hours. So here we are at the Buff Core booth, also at ETS. So not only is it tools and tech, we've got boxes. I mean, you can't sell jewelry without offering somebody a box to put it in. Not only boxes, you've got displays, you've got neck forms, you've got all the things you need to merchandise and visually display the jewelry you sell. No girl wants to flash her diamonds in a dark, dingy store. Lighting's the most crucial part of showing diamonds, particularly. I mean, you know you go to somebody's house, and you're sitting there and the lighting's bad, everybody looks horrible. That goes 10 times for jewelry. Diamonds, they need the right light to sparkle. As you can see, there's a lot more to jewelry than just jewels. I've had a great time showing you all the different exhibitors here at ETS, and I look forward to showing you more upstairs and later on at JCK.